If you're playing Elder Scrolls Online, you're going to need lots of consumables. And I'm not talking about just your character. I'm talking about you. You need some skooma snacks. Welcome to Alchemy with Allie. Today I will be showing you how to make skooma snacks for you to put in your quick slot for when you've been adventuring too hard and need something to perk yourself back up. Alright, so here's the ingredients you're going to need. A shit ton of butter, a metric ass load of marshmallows, and a brick of moon sugar. These are all technical measurements. You're also probably going to want a pot large enough for a small chicken. Warning, you need to be at least a level 5 alchemist for this to turn out properly. Otherwise, it might kill you. Okay, so we're going to our um, alchemy lab. And uh, we're going to put this on some high heat. Alright, so we're getting our butter all good and melted and we're going to toss in some marshmallows. Yay! Oops. So we can stir this down. And you can adjust your butter and your um, marshmallow. You know, just do it until it looks good. This is what mine looks like. Come on over here, B camera. Get a close look. Now we're going to add our moon sugar. Unfortunately, I've already been taking hits off of this all week, so I don't really have that much, but I hope it'll be okay. So as you start to stir this up, you will realize that you actually need a lot more marshmallows than you actually had. And this is why the measurements are very important. Um, that way you know what you're doing, because clearly I don't. Okay, I need more butter. I'm like Paula Dean up in here. Okay, I think that was too much butter. But you know, you just do whatever feels good, whatever feels right to you. It's okay because it's your own little concoction and you can make it as delicious as you want. Ah! Yeah, that should be good. So at this point, you can take everything and pour it into a nice glass or ceramic dish to cool off. But if you're anything like me, you're probably just going to take it directly to your computer and eat it straight out the pot. But really, let it cool off before you eat it. And you get it all spread around in there real good. And that is how you make skooma snacks. Different people will probably like this recipe a little bit differently than other people would. So you can totally alter this and put less marshmallows, less butter, more moon sugar, however you want to do it because that's what alchemy is all about. Making it perfect just for you and tweaking it and having fun with it until you figure out something that you like. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe because I post a new video every Tuesday and comment below. Let me know how your version of Skooma Snacks turned out and let me know if you enjoyed Alchemy with Allie and if you want to see me cook up more fun stuff in here. Also, make it at home. Let me know how your Skooma Snacks turned out and don't forget to put it in your quick slot so that you will always have it for when adventuring begins to take its toll. See ya!